everybody! We are back with more Red Dead Redemption. This little freaking face mask is pissing me off. It's like glitchy and it's messing up my beard. Alright. Let's get right back into a... Uh... How the hell do I get down from here? Hmm. I think I have to jump. Maybe we can jump on there. Uh, uh, oh, I made it. This book will make you the person you have always wanted to be. A Rick Bully. Oh, oh that had hurt. I don't know who's calling out, and I don't give a fuck. Alright. Let's get in the room. I know when you're here. Alright, let's go to Dutch Vandal and Honestly, I think right now I want it in this town for like a hundred eighty some dollars. I'll be moving to silence. Just want to get back home. Yep. By the way, guys, this isn't sponsored. But I've been playing Clash of Clans. I recently got it. And it is so fucking addicting. I, I heard of it, but it didn't interest me. But I recently got it. And it's fucking amazing. If you guys wanna, like, if you guys ever see, if you guys still have it, what's this? If you guys still have it, and you guys are still playing it, if you guys see a, a, a base called Camp Randall, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> if you guys see a base called Camp Randall, that is me. Help me. You alright? I need medicine. I think I'll make better use of my medicine Mister, than you will. I ate something bad and... You alright? My inside is it all cold. Can I be back? I'm gonna go check this out. You're just gonna watch me die. This must have been it right here. Let's pat, pat him right here. You're okay. Get his stuff. That's a good girl. Good little girl. Should be good enough. There we are. And I'm an idiot, and I swear you could search the other side. Man, too bad I didn't know that. Just recently found out about this. Such an idiot. Alright, you have a good day, little buddy. Oh, what the? Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this fucker. He fell asleep on me. I was gonna help him. Oh, well. So it's like a swamp. Maybe uh alligator's a little hungry. Alright, this is a swamp little buddy. You don't wanna be here when the uh, alligators get here. You better get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Aw oh, shit, I got like some freaking Kool-Aid on my shoulder. Man. 
He's looking dirty out here. Got one of my help, and then I was just checking his horse. Left him all alone over there, and then, uh... Guy must have been really exhausted, just fell asleep on me. Man, I'm doing so good. So good at getting this bad end done. Can't believe it. First, I can be a good man, then second, I can turn into a real piece of shit. It's so weird. Just how you can change like that. Oh, you stay here, Lenny. Let's go talk to Dutch Vandalin. There's that asshole up there. I think he's the fucking king. Obnoxious fuck. At least that little shit isn't around. Can't stand that fucker. Ah! Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude! With your cunt of a mother! <sighs> right as I say it, boom, right there. Jesus, little fucker's annoying. Always up in my face. All right, what do you want, asshole? Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Oh, really? What? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches, but deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Jose. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his <laughs> type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. <laughs> Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. <laughs> Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, Bill and I can't be like that, dude. So negative. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. All right. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grave. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like Thomas? the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get into it. Thank you. What? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sad. It's not like you ever take mine. It's like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police. You can see that right as we pass somebody? Sand and me in his back pocket. He also set us Why are we running so fast? Hey, we're running really fast. We've got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made 
and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! Why are we ready so fast? Bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? Oh! We break up the Why are we ready so fucking fast? Separate ways? Just tell me! Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. Oh, here we go again. I am not oh, maybe not. Forcing anybody to stay. So I oh, there we go. Together. The hell? Working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Even if... Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Is that Thomas? Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boat. He's going to help us get close to our prey. Mm. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that thing? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte? Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. If anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bring him trouble, there won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the trap. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur. Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, surely. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, if you keep a lookout for company, Mr. Arthur, check the traps with This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night. Fucking move, you old fuck. The night folk. Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. 
Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. by that small island over here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. I'm so worried, Thomas. Stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of big old bull. Fucking baby hiding up here. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. Alright. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Stop fucking pushing me, you piece of shit. shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Oopsie. I lost my light. There's gotta be something in here that glows. Oh wait, is this it? Oh, it looks a lot smaller. We should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Fucking baby, you gotta go with him. Make me go all alone. Fuck you. Let's 
to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Good to see you, Thomas. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Now, oh, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Jules from Super Bad. I got you, son. I got you. Oh, God, no. Catch! Shoot something! I'm coming! Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you're here. Okay, son. Gonna be okay. 
Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. Still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the blade. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every... Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. The big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Or You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? Just meet me back here. Very good. Good work, Thomas. Almost killed your fucking friend. Here Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. Mr. Arthur. Old Bad man. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, Lenny. Eagle flies. I wish you almost be there, Lenny.
take some of that money. Sugar cube. <laughs> Wonder if there's anything I can give you that will, uh... Nothing. What's this for? That's it? Jesus, what the fuck is that thing? Am I from Iraq? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Alright, let's get going, money. Help a blind man. A dollar you get? for your future. A dollar for your fate. Hmm. Nah. Learn about tomorrow. Whoa, I just shot a blind man. my thought, mister. Man, rude people out here. Yeah. Better get out of this little circle. All I wanted was 50 cents. Jeez. Ah, oh, right as we get to the place, it's fucking locked because this ugly ass sheriff had to see us. Um, my fucking controller died. No, 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 no! Dude! My vehicle better die end up. Oh, Lenny? <gasps> Lenny, be. Lenny, be careful. These fuckers are looking for us. That was a close one, Lenny. Did you see? Did you see that, Lenny? Five bucks. Right, come on, let's get out of here. Why isn't this place unlocked yet? Maybe I gotta run away a little. Should I do that? Come on, unlock you already, damn it. Dude, this is like a huge waste of time. Should've never killed that fucking blind man. There we go. No, honestly, my opinion, this controller fucking sucks. Within 40 minutes, it dies. I had this thing all the way charged before with three bars, and I still kept charging it, and then when I pulled it out, like, 40 minutes later, it was dying. Like, what the fuck, dude? So me a shit. There's a 
foreman. His name is Danbury. There's a files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of these. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? It'll be a report from the Leyland Oil Development Company. You got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You can crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Whew. That was close. train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. <laughs> You're telling me that fucker couldn't see me? Guys, when I first played this, I didn't get caught at all. <laughs> Real good. They'll 
give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. So then time to get going. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Whoa, whoa. Come down. That's why my fucking guy's acting up. Get out of here, Lenny. Some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. <laughs> Fucking killed him. <laughs> I thought you wasn't getting involved. I thought you were gonna enter and leave silent. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Let's get out of here, Lenny. Dutch Vandalone. Let's get out of here before these fuckers come after us again.
fucking have an accident, you just come up and shoot me? God damn. Money, are you okay? Those fuckers are stupid. Just ran right into us. Oh man, you alright? Calm down, Lenny, calm down. Those guys are fucking dumb, hawking the whole road. You alright now, Lenny, you alright. Feed you a little bit. Poor Lenny. You didn't deserve that. Keep going, Lenny. I think you're better now. You're strong. Fucking idiots just randomly walk up on us. Don't even bother to move. Fucking hawking the whole road. Like you guys are horses, you don't always have to follow the trail. God damn. Horses can go on dirt and anything else. They can go on. Freaking. They don't need to go on a road. What's going on over here? What happened? Oh! Bust with all the Please. damn caterwaul! I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Oh, oh, you need to suck the venom out. Oh. Hmm. Please, sir. I don't want to die. Just calm down. Alright, you'll be alright. Oh, I can feel the poison in my veins. Oh. Hey, I think you're just being a little oh, dramatic. God, you have to help me. For the love of God, you gotta calm down, right? You're gonna be alright. You're just being a little over dramatic, alright? So cold. That's what the other guy said. He felt cold, like. Buddy? Why do these guys keep falling asleep on me, dude? You get cold and they just want to go to sleep? That makes no sense. Idiot. That guy fell asleep. No, neither worry. Nothing happened. All these fuckers falling asleep on me. Just trying to have a normal conversation with them. Then boom. They just pass out. Like, come on. Why is there so many people falling asleep? Should be back in a minute now. Whoa, whoa, Lenny, Lenny, what are you, what are you doing, Lenny? The hell is that? That was weird. We're about there, Lenny. Ah, uh, you sit right here, Lenny. Fucking move. So, Dutch. I have no idea, but I hear it's Paris. Alright guys, I'm afraid we're going to have to end this part right here. Um, <laughs> we only got 8 minutes and honestly, on my timer, and uh, we all know levels in this game are not 8 minutes. Maybe if you speed run through it, maybe you could do it done quick, but no, I can't. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.